changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Well, ain't that a kick in the head? Anyway, hey there guys, how are you guys doing today? Welcome into an episode of Fallout New Vegas where we're gonna do something a little bit different. You're awake. I guess. How about that? Um, so, Whoa, easy the rough there. idea easy. is I'll talk after Doc Mitchell's done talking a couple and yapping. Of days now. And yapping. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's mm -hmm. see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Yeah. Right. Anyway, what I was saying, um, so this is going to be a different kind of follow video i guess we're going to kind of go through good springs you know do the tutorial machine uh with sunny smiles we're going to go through and like kind of talk about each character and kind of stuff as we're playing through the game um so i want to do this like per episode so like for this episode we're going to be doing good springs for example and just like trying to talk about the main people in good springs so doc mitchell uh sunny smiles and the more we figure out about them in later episodes we'll also come back and talk about them more and at the end of the series what i might do is try and do a character profile on each of these characters so uh i guess we will uh just call our character artemis because artemis turtle you know the use i can't say it's what i'd have picked for you but if that's your name that's your name i'm dog mitchell Welcome to Good Springs. Good to meet now, you. I oh. hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Okay. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Don't worry, brother, I will. 
So this is our character. This is Artemis. Um, not extremely similar to me, but you know, we 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 work with it. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Okay. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. So, anyway, Good. oh, oh, whoa! What the hell was that? I guess I broke my back. Okay, there. it's fine. Take it yep. slow now. Uh huh. It ain't a race. Okay. So, anyway, uh, let's talk about Doc Mitchell real quick because I do like have little bits of extra information, obviously, because I've played the game a bunch. Um, but we'll talk more about his time in Vault 21. Um, more when we get to that stage of the game, once we get to Vegas and all that stuff. But basically, Ooh, looking good so far. Doc Mitchell is a doctor in Good Springs, Go if you can give tell. The a try. Um, he's pretty nice. We'll you know, right he's, you he's your run out of the mill. Faculties. Okay, okay, okay. Let me talk to the people about the lore. We can chat okay. later. I can't talk to you just now. Tests, but basically, you get out of here. Um, to run him down, he's he keeps himself pretty secluded from the rest of town. Um, he doesn't seem to go anywhere, uh, really. And like later on, we'll discuss more of what happened to him before he got to Good Springs. Uh, like I said, so we're just gonna go through this quickly. I'll just uh, cut this part out because I'm just building my stats here. I'm just going for what I would normally go for in a playthrough, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, be back in a sec, I guess. So, this is our stats. I know they're not very good. Um, but honestly, I'm going for a kind of melee build. I don't really need perception as much then. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put intelligence up to a five. And we'll have perception at a four because... The only thing that really affects is accuracy and if I'm using melee weapons mostly, I'm not gonna be too bothered. So anyway, that's huh. us done with that. Must be some frontal lobe damage. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn or dropping. Uh-huh. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Okay. The dogs are still barking. Right. Okay, so the thing about all right. Mitchell. Uh, okay, okay. We're just going to go through this first. Uh, dog, cat, no. house, uh, target, night, silencer, bandit, Swiss cheese, what? light, flash. Mother. Alakazam. Oh, no, that's bang flash. Human shield. Mm. No, yeah, 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 yeah. First one. Uh, I'm just going to strongly agree to all of these because okay. it doesn't really change much. Um, you guys know what I'm seeing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Last yeah, I know what your minds are like. Where's the two sumos high-fiving? Okay, I guess it's a mushroom cloud then. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright, melee weapons, good. Cool, cool. Sick melee weapons. Unarmed, am I going to use unarmed that much? And you know what, might as well. Uh, would I rather my speech be higher or my barter be higher? I'd rather have my speech higher, I think. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from oh, you. Oh, there's always you one more thing. to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Okay. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Oh, well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we are going to take some traits. We are going to take... Small frame. Because we're going to find a bunch of stim packs anyway. And we're also going to... Where is it? Using guns? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Heavy handed? Yeah, we're going to take heavy handed and small frame. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we're going to take skilled and heavy-handed because I want an extra five right, in each thing. I guess that about Just in it. case. 
Come with me. I'll see you out. All right, cool. Can I put the light on yet? No, no. Okay. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it. Okay, I'm just going to skip them through because. We're going to go and talk to Sonny Ma Smiles. And no, we're not playing hardcore mode. Not while I'm describing war and stuff. So basically, to sum up Doc Mitchell, um, he's going to be talked about later on during, like, uh, okay, once we get blasted in the face with a bunch of sunlight and uh, other things. Okay, I get it. Right now, we're going to wear the Vault Dweller's Vault suit because... It's honestly my favorite um, thing in the game. Uh, we did get the broad mach. We do have the broad machete, so we're going to probably use that quite a lot. Um, if I can remember. Oh my god, go away! Okay, it's LB to zoom out. Right. But. So. Okay, okay. I don't care about the DLC right now. We'll talk about the DLC in different videos and stuff. Um, because we're going to do a full playthrough of this. So, like, this one's just to give you guys, like, the rough idea. I'm not sure too much about Easy Pete. I think Easy Pete's kind of just, uh, um, around. So why is he called Easy Pete? Let's ask him. was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Okay. No, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Big Horners. Okay. Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging. Ah. But never like the term. Okay. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts, good money in it. Okay, so it seems like, and I will just go off a of base what off of he's saying, um, that he was a prospector that just came here essentially, and now in his old age he's just helping with the big corners, which are the things over there. So I guess that's kind of easy, Pete. Like he's also an explosives expert for those who don't know, um. So yeah, and here's Sunny Smiles. Stay. Okay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. And Cheyenne, I guess. Uh, so Doc Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Okay. Sounds like you need all. Meet me up. I will. So Sunny's kind of the first like person you kind of run into, I guess. Um, weirdly enough, she's, she can't be a follower, I don't believe, um, without mods. Unless I'm wrong on that, then correct me down in the comments below. But. Everything all right? Yeah, I wanted to ask well, you let's some. let's just finish. Okay. Now, yeah. see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Uh-huh. Take this and try to hit a couple oh, of them. Oh, wow. I, my aim, 10 out of 10. Oh, look at that aim. Oh my god, I have so much gun switch. This is why I do melee. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Alright, no. No. No, no, no. They're all knocked down. Everything alright? Uh oh. Until Uh ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> Crouching down and staying. Nice shot. Well, that's a story. There we go. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight Sass. No. Okay, I'm in. Alright. So, Sunny Smile seems to be the big protector of the town almost. Um, if I'm being 100% honest, I think that's what she's kind of used here for. Is mainly just a tutorial character. Um... I've always been curious about where our dog came from, so we might try and find that out as well. But I guess for just now, we're just going to follow Sunny Smiles. I, I guess... Well, honestly, I could probably rush ahead of her. Oh no! Someone's in danger! 
It's fine. I have you. I have you. I have you. I have you. It's fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. That takes care of that. That takes care of that. If you hadn't come here like you've done, I'd be a god. I came up here to draw. Yep. You're welcome. Hey, Sonny. Now that was some good work. Yep. Even got a little excited. Here's a little spending money for one more thing I wanted to show you. Okay. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. Uh, seeing as we're doing the whole thing, right. I guess I'm, I'm gonna. Now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing. Okay, I'm not doing that. Everything all right? We're we're not doing that. Well, let's just finish. Oh, no, we need to do it. Damn it! I shouldn't have done that. Okay. My bad, guys. I guess, uh... What was it we needed again? Where the fuck is she gone, bro? Like, Jesus Christ on a motorbike. Oh, okay. She wasn't actually as far as I thought she was. Okay. Hi. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. Okay. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. All right. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay. Activate campfire. Healing powder. Yes. Yes. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Okay. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Okay. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough. I'm heading back now. Hope I... Hey, right. do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Mm -hmm. Kind of the town mom. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. So, hi Sunny. There. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Let's, um... Let's ask what she does around here. Well, wait, let's just... What do you do around here, Sonny? I hunt geckos, mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Okay, good to know. You seem to be the town protector almost, in a way. That will be handy for later on. Okay. I'm done oh. being nice. Oh, what's if this? If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm Ringo. going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not huh. going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? You. Anyway. Trudy, what was that all about? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad uh -huh. I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Thank you. I overheard that argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Okay. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor mm -hmm. of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Okay. Where is... Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Not murder. Even if Cobb is scum. More dispatch He can bluster him. and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Okay. Powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail hmm. lines. Problem okay. is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Oh, really? It was a big I escape not too long that. ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. I don't really have much to say on Trudy, honestly. I think she's indifferent to helping Ringo, uh, so we'll go and talk to him, I guess, because he seems to be more interesting. Um, no offense, Trudy, but, like, I guess, I guess you ain't got much to say. 
honestly. So I guess we'll go to the abandoned gas station. Um, Cause I guess we'll, or we might just go and deal with Joe Cobb just now. You know what? That's what we'll do. Fuck it, fuck it. I think Joe's down, down here somewhere. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, how, how did I know? How did I know? Anyway, Joe. What do you want? Uh, what was that you said about Ringo? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. Okay. He's hiding somewhere in town. Sounds like so a smart man. So idiot's right if me and my guy shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Huh. Oh. The series it is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're okay. calling the shots. Okay, I guess we'll have a look at the uh, NCR prison later on. What are you None in? Your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. I just need to know if I should watch my step around you. Rob some people, burn some things, killed a few guys. Oh, you mean why come away to do it to you? Right in three, two, one. Yeah. Now? Come on. Stop backing up. Go away. Stop. Well. I guess leveling up by cutting someone to pieces is it's the way to go. I guess. Uh, we'll put this up by that. We'll put my lockpick up a decent bit too. Uh, let us get a... Ooh. I, I think I want to put on... So what we'll do just now is we will get uh, confirm Bachelor to do extra 10% damage. Right? So, I think Joe Hogg just... He, he's headstrong, but he wasn't armstrong, I guess. Oh, and now he's got a very weird looking appendage, I guess. Well, I don't even want to ask about that part, honestly. Anyway, let us go up to Ringo because I don't think that really did anything. So I guess uh, we will still go and talk to him. That's close enough. I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a okay. bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? A ma man named... Okay, try that again. A man named Joe Cobb was looking for you, but I killed him, so... Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found me. Okay. Cobb's friends are the bigger problem. And when he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. Okay, There's that's no fine. I can fight them all. Uh... I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me okay. to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my well, own. Well, if we helped you, maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Okay. Now, if so, I'll ask around and see who can help. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yep. Okay. Now, what if I just killed him too? Well, you just kill everyone, you know? No, we're doing it. We're doing a good playthrough. Um, I guess. Seeing as, uh, seeing as I'm trying to be nice, I won't kill him. I guess. Hey, Sonny. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. I'm going to help uh, Ringo. Say no more. I'm okay. Well, that was easy. Even though Joe Cobb's dead. His friends will come out. However, okay. between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. 
I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay, so I guess we have to go and convince the others to help us, you know, join the fight, I guess, against the Powder Ganners. Trudy! So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Yeah. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Uh, you should help me take down the Powder Gang bullets. Wait, up. Take me. Take down the Powder Gang bullets, explosion, lots of fun? I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. That's Let me just have a because... word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone right. does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has... Okay. Anyway, be careful. Now, Chet is probably the biggest piece of shit in the wasteland um not really but i guess he's just a very greedy man you must be the one doc mitchell was patching uh -huh. up uh-huh oh yeah yeah, yeah. supplies for sale even got if you're hurting for okay all right do you want to help now just hold on i never voted to take on the powder gangers that's a thousand cap investment you're talking about chat I'm going to kill you if you don't. Look, you're bringing this. Damn. He's so lucky that I'm being on my best behavior for a playthrough. Right. So what's going on? Sonny's with well, us. I guess that means we're ready to go. No, let's do this. Time right. alive. The powder ganger. We're shooting. Getting... Set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there. Okay. At least six. Oh, it's six. Six? You're worried about six? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, Sonny, my dear. We ain't got to worry about six. They're about to feel what pain is. I right, for real. They don't even know what's a way to hit them. Oh, oh, oh. I, right, I guess. Can I hit them from here? No, I don't have blitz. I don't even think blitz is a thing in this game. So. Whoa. Okay, so that's is useless. Murderer. What what do you ever whatever do you mean? No. <laughs> whatever could you Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we We don't really care. Right, Ringo, wait, because I have things I want to take care of first. Okay. I owe you a huge favor for this. Of course you do. Here. These are technically crimson care. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. Okay. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Will do, sir. Will will do, Ringo. Because we need all the health and money we can get. Which is why I'm robbing these guys. Also. Um I think that's everyone. Yeah, okay. So, there is one more thing we do need to do before we leave Good Springs. And that one thing is head up to the graveyard one more time to find some things that we very much need. Uh, I'll put it that way. And this will be used for in a later episode. Because we're going to tell you a little bit of lore on the way up here. So... The graveyard is obviously where we got killed by the man in the checkered suit. And we will refer to him as the man in the checkered suit until we learn his name, I think. I I'm pretty sure we don't know it until later on anyway. 
But what we will do right now is grab all these distinctive cigarette butts because those were all his. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is that we need to start collecting evidence, which is why we will be taking the correct way to Vegas as I, instead of the, you know, fast way, shall we say, shall we call it, I guess. But anyway, that is going to be about it for Good Springs. I know there's a little bit more war I could talk about with Good Springs, like the schoolhouse and all that stuff and why it's abandoned and all that. But I guess that is going to be the end of our episode. I don't know how long this is going to be. It could be 30 minutes. It could be 20. It could be 40. It could be 50 minutes. It could be unedited. Um, but anyway, I do hope you guys uh, did enjoy that first episode of Fallout New Vegas. Um, I guess we're going to try and do this game first and then we're going to go into other games and stuff so if there's war on the other games that you want me to cover as well i can always switch it out week week to week i could do new vegas one week new fallout 3 next week you know fallout 4 in the week after if you want me to do that leave it down in the comments below anyway i'll see you guys later hope you guys have a good rest of your day remember click on whatever random video comes up if you want to see some skate 3 it will be here if you want to see some other games that will some random video will be here maybe I don't know. Uh, I've not made a playlist for the Fallout things yet. So I guess we'll have to wait until we build a few videos. So you guys better subscribe too. Anyway, see you guys later. Thank you for watching and peace out. Bye.